going on everybody welcome back to another tesla video today we're going to be reviewing a product inside this box so this box is a new product by a company called let's spin it around the proper way here jow jawa joa <laughs> i'm totally butchering the name let me know in the comments below how to pronounce it if you know uh but basically what it is is a wireless charging pad for your tesla and i know what you're thinking before you click off this video oh great another wireless charging pad uh this one is actually kind of interesting because you can see here it has with dash cam and sentry mode for your tesla so this has a slot for an sd card that you can record or use it to record your sentry mode footage which is kind of neat so uh they offer or they advertise all sorts of stuff on the back uh, it's compatible with model 3 and model y uh, it includes different cables depending on which year uh, your tesla is and it's really funny and hopefully you can make it out here it says four years a hundred thousand mile warranty right so uh, I don't know if that's a joke or not, and I'm hoping it is, because if it is, it's pretty funny. Uh, but uh, it looks like a really cool product. It includes fast charging. It's all sorts of stuff. But the dash cam and sentry mode aspect to me is the most interesting uh, because it's a two-in-one. So uh, you get this in the box. It comes in two colors, which I'm going to show you guys both colors, and I don't know which is which because the boxes look identical. So this is again, like spot the difference and maybe it says it somewhere, nope. So, so these boxes are identical, but I have both colors. One is a carbon fiber black, and then the other one is like a wood dash. And we're gonna look at both of them. We're gonna check them out and I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on this product. Uh, so full transparency, I was sent it for review, but I will always be honest in what I say and how I feel about these products. It's enough talking, it's enough of an introduction. Let's open it up. Let's see which one we got inside of this box here. And as I say that, I think you have to open it from down here. All right. Professional box opening channel. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this on camera so I see exactly what you see and you get my initial response and reaction. We're opening it up and we are presented with this. Uh, it, tells you the coil so there's one coil here there's two coils there's three coils there's your micro sd slot and it tells you a little bit more about it so we could move this little cardboard out of the way and on the back it tells you a quick start guide which is basically the same as the little card i received uh relatively extremely simple to install uh based off my experience of installing the other one. So let's toss that out of the way. And the first one I opened up here is the carbon fiber. Uh, it is not real carbon fiber, but uh, it has some texture to it. It is black. I like that there's a rubber grip here because uh, I feel like this one's all rubber, which is really nice, the one I have currently on my car. Uh, this one is has this like plasticky feel to it. So the fact that they added this little rubber grip is nice. I would like to see the whole back rubber, but then I guess you wouldn't get the whole carbon fiber effect. And by the looks of it, there's also light at the bottom, which is cool. And here is where your little card goes. So hopefully you guys can see that. So it's a, just a little, little piece that flips up you put in your SD card and it will uh, do your recording for you for your Sentry mode. Uh, so uh, real quick, if you guys are interested in this product and keep watching to get my full review because uh, I'm going to keep going through everything. But uh, if the product is good and this video gets published, uh, there will be a link in the description below where if you guys are ordering one of these, uh, you get an SD card uh, for free, a part of your order for one of these wireless charging pad, sentry mode uh, pads. So uh, anyway, uh, so SD card, some lights, some grip. Uh, even this is actually really grippy, which is nice. The, the middle divider, which is at the top, which is good. And overall, it's really light in comparison to some of the other ones I've tried. And the back is exactly what you think. You have your two cables, and that's pretty much all there is to it so let's uninstall my other one and let's give this one a go actually hold on wait 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 something else i want to point out they have this and this is for 
the AirPods 2. Uh, so the whole purpose is if you want to throw, uh, let, let's go back here for a second. You have this here where it tells you where your coils are. So if you have AirPods where you want to charge them and the coils up here, you're not going to be able to because the coils up here. So what they include is this to charge your AirPods and it's supposed to like just sit here. You put AirPods on top and they can charge. I mean, this is a piece of cardboard. It's cardboard with a little bit of foam on the inside. It's cool and all, but uh, honestly, I think this part here could be improved. So if you're buying it for this uh, specifically, because you want something that will charge your AirPods as well, it's cool, but this can be definitely improved because it's just cardboard and foam. I can see this breaking rather easily. We have cables up here and they label them extremely well. USB-C to USB-A times two, USB-C to USB-C times one. So this is the one I need. This is the one you need if you have a newer car. We're gonna like slide this up top. And I gotta say that the box design is actually really nice. It's so easy to understand where everything is. Here are the two cables I need. This is my extra cable. We're gonna toss the box on the side and we're gonna install it. And, and I think I said that before, but this time we're gonna do it for real. So, if you have this here, it's actually like super easy to remove. You just literally slide it to the left and it just pops off. So to reinstall it, you just got to snap it on and, or put it on and align it and then slide it back. So anyway, slide it off. We're going to pop off my old one, which has cables hooked up to it currently. So we fed our cables through, uh, which all I did is take this thing off, fed the cables through. And now we have our new one right here and we're just gonna plug them in on the back like so and then we can have it installed i gotta say the cable length is nice because i'm not s struggling they're not like stretching out uh which is good because the cables i have are actually a little bit shorter they're like the perfect length as you can see here so the ones i'm using right now are like perfect length where like it's a little bit of a pain to get in but you have no excess cable uh, this one, they give you a little bit extra, which is kind of nice. I'm liking it. it. makes it easier to install. Okay, so once you just snap it in place, uh, which is relatively easy, you just feed the cables, plug them in. Uh, you can test it out, obviously. So you can see my car will charge, or my phone will charge. Here, you can see the left light. Hopefully, it picks it up in the video. It's actually, like, blinking, saying, hey, it's charging. And then if I do it on the right, the right one's blinking to say it's charging. But what's really fascinating to me is there's a middle light which blinks. So it actually tells you which coil is being used to charge whatever device you put on here. So I think that's kind of cool. I like that design. It's something small, but I love being able to see the light. Because especially when like you just toss your phone on and you want to quickly see if it's charging, uh, the light's flashing. So even if your phone is off, uh, you can say, hey, my phone is still charging. Which is cool. I like that design choice. It's very good. Uh, something else I want to mention, and I talked about in the beginning. I thought, hey, I kind of want this all rubber. Uh, I changed my mind. Disagree with what I said originally. Uh, so there's a rubber lip along the bottom uh, here, which uh, I didn't notice originally. So the lip where the phone actually sits, it's rubber. And it holds the phone so well because of that little rubber piece. With the rubber at the top, it doesn't move. Like, this doesn't move... Like, I have to put a lot of pressure on this to move. So, if you're driving, this isn't going to shake around. I'm actually really impressed at how well uh, the rubber works, considering how little the, there actually is. So, overall, from a design perspective, it's pretty similar to the other ones. But the big difference is this little lip that pops up with the SD card. So, as I said in the beginning, uh, or earlier... There will be a link in the description below so you can get one of these for free uh, with your purchase. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to install it. We're going to see if it works. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to do this, assuming it works. And then finally, we're going to look at the other color choice, which is the wood, which I think is probably the most fascinating to me. Uh, just because I really liked how it looked from the photo. So I can't wait to see it in person in my car. So uh, let's fast forward and we'll be back whenever I manage to open up this little bag. And as I say that, I actually get it open. So maybe we're not going to fast forward. All right. So <laughs> we got uh, the micro SD here that actually says their name, Jaw Jawa. And again, butchering it, I'm sure. It's like extremely well hidden. 
there's there's nothing it's just a like you really have to know this product to say hey there's going to be an sd card in there so kind of cool all right so we're going to lift this up and we're going to plug okay maybe you can't do it with your phone so we're going to lift this up and we're going to slide it in the sd card is installed into the uh, wireless charging pad now and we are ready to test it out on the car uh, before I go any further there's something else I want to mention so I have the pixel 5 and you can see it's pretty tall uh, if you have any of the, like the super large XL phones uh, from watching some of the other videos that people have done reviews on this it will not work with like the behemoth giant gigantic phones all right so we have it installed now uh, it's sitting here our SD card is in we are ready to go uh, you can see there is no dash cam icon in the top right. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, we're going to go to safety and security. Uh, we're going to scroll down to where it says dash cam. We're going to hit format USB drive. We're going to hit format. And now we have our uh, icon in the top right, which we can now click. And we can also save footage. And if we want to see it, uh, once... It's saved, we can click this icon again and we can hit launch viewer. That simple, you can see we have the front of my garage door and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. The fact that it works that fast uh, and that quick and like I showed you before and I'm gonna like move it down here, uh, it's just a small little SD card right here. And it's funny, USB device malfunction, center console port unplugged device from USB port because it sees it still is plugged in and I removed the, the storage aspect. So um, kind of neat. I kind of like this product. I really like the fact it's like a two in one. So you're not buying anything else. And I love how hidden this little USB is. So let's go and let's check out the wooden one now because that's like the last part I really want to see. I can't wait to see the wooden one. It's harder always on camera than off camera, especially with one hand. Uh, but is basically like that. There is the wooden one, which again, I think looks really sharp. I really like how this looks. And they have their, it's the same, it's the same exact thing. It's just the design that changes. And again, it's super, super stable, not sliding anywhere. Uh, despite having a really, really like plasticky finish, uh, it's really stable and really solid. So uh, overall, I'm really impressed with this uh, wireless charging pad. I'm going to be leaving this one in my car full time. I think it's great. I love the fact that the SD card is like right here. It's like literally like two seconds. You can just boop, pop open, pop out, right? So I think it's a cool product. Uh, just something to note again, in case you missed it earlier on, if you have like a phablet, is that still a term? If you have like one of those big jumbo phones, like I'm talking massive, like the, whatever the big iPhone is, or one of the big Galaxy s20 plus ultra uh chances are your phone's not going to fit uh and other than that if you have a smaller size phone great product hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a comment down below let me know what your thoughts are uh do you like this design do you like the fact that it has the sd card in it because that's the selling feature to me that I really like. I like the fact of all the rubber and it just seems really well made. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Like the video, subscribe for more Tesla content. And most importantly, as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.